And if we give the test light 12 volts, actually wait. Hey there, welcome back to the workbench. Sorry for the mess, but today we're going to work inside because it's too cold outside and I've got some equipment in here that makes this test easier. In the past, I've talked about how alternators work and how you can check your charging system on the vehicle. Today we're going to take a look at testing a voltage regulator on the bench. This is a standard Mopar voltage regulator. It's a standard motor VRT125. And what I've got here is I have just an adjustable power supply. This is effectively acting as our battery. This, while it looks all complex, really we're just looking at the voltage here. We're just simulating a vehicle. Right now it's running and charging. Your car would be running at 14.9 volts. This voltage comes in to the top wire on the voltage regulator. This is the sense wire. The voltage regulator is grounded, so that's what this black wire is. This would be on your car through one of the bolts on the housing. And then this comes over to your field wire on your alternator. If this runs to ground, basically it will charge, otherwise it isn't. So I've got a test light here, and if we run the test light to ground, the other end of it's connected to power. If we run it to ground, it turns on. So basically, if we connect to ground, this is on. If this field connects to ground, we get charging. So if I connect here, you can see the car would not be charging because we're at 15 volts. So if I drop the voltage below 14.8, it's charging. When it goes above 14.8, it stops charging. So what that means is you can actually test your voltage regulator either on the bench or even in the car with a test light and a multimeter that shows you the voltage. You might even be able to on some vehicles if they have a volt gauge on the vehicle you could actually test it using that. Basically you want to test first do I have voltage to this top wire? That's our sense. So you would connect the test light, one end to ground, the alligator to ground, and then the probe, you would probe on the blue wire terminal. And you should get power so it should light up. The next thing you can check is if the output of the vehicle's charging system is above 14.8, you will not get a light here, but if it's below 14.8, it'll turn on and it's charging. So what happens if we have a bad voltage regulator? This one I know is bad. So let's say we're driving along, we've got 13 and a half volts. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. We've got 13 and a half volts coming out of the charging system. So if we have less than 12, it looks like 11.7 volts coming out. It should be on, so I get nothing. Bring up the voltage, nothing up at 14. There, turned on, down at 10.9-ish, somewhere around there. So this voltage regulator only charges the car when we're down to around 10 and a half volts. So it would maintain your battery at about 10 and a half or so. And now it actually changed behavior, and it's staying on. Even better. Oh, there. It, it ran all the way up to 14. Oh, and now it quit again. So our voltage would go way down, down to about 10 and a half. So it's doing some really strange stuff, uh, which is what was happening on the vehicle. It just wasn't holding a charge properly. If you don't have a test light, you can always use a second voltmeter, something that has an ohm setting. 
when you connect it on this one, you can hear it makes a tone. The one thing you have to know is this guy has a diode in it, so you have to measure the correct direction. So put your positive lead on the case or the ground of the voltage regulator, and then connect your negative lead to the output. So we have the known good regulator here. Again, we're instead of the test light, we're just using another ohm meter. Positive to the case of the ohm meter, negative to that field wire. You can see at 15.6 volts, the circuit is open. When it closes, the car would start charging. So as the voltage comes down, there we go at about 14 point, oh, looks like 14.9, right around there, 14.8, somewhere in there. If it's below that, it's charging. If it goes above that, it stops charging. So that's how you would test with a voltmeter and then an ohm meter. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.